not done yet. I'm having a gin and tonic, I am. It's the middle of the afternoon. You can do whatever you want to come to. I'm stuck in my house. You're probably stuck in your house. Unless you've got to go to work. Luckily for me, I lost my job, so I don't have to go anywhere. It's good, it is. I haven't got any lemon. I think it's a bit naughty to go to the shop just for lemon, so I decided I'm going to wait until I run out of milk. That's what I'm going to do. And last night, I had to have four chicken kiabs for supper because I accidentally defrosted the freezer. So I haven't got any ice either. But it's all right. You don't need ice and lemon to get pissed. What I've been doing is I've been going outside for my daily dose of exercise. You are allowed out of the house once a day to go and do some exercise. I've been going out of my bike I have. I've been being very safe because the last thing you want to do is end up in the hospital, isn't it? They've got enough to do. So what I've been doing is I've been going out, getting on my bike, and I've been cycling for three miles, and I turn left. Then I cycle for three miles again, and I turn left. I cycle for three miles again, and I turn left. And then I cycle for three miles, and I'm home. And in all that time while I've been out cycling, I haven't had to cross traffic once. So my chances for getting hit by a lorry are massively minimised. I'm doing my bit, I am. To be honest with you, every time I've done it so far, I haven't actually managed to make it home. I think it's because I don't actually know how long three miles is. And I think for it to work, I have to be quite specific about my angles. But I'm going to persevere with it. I've got nothing better to do, have I? The other thing I've been doing, I've been eating a lot of carrots, a good few carrots. Help you see in the dark. And before long, I'm not going to be able to afford to pay my electricity bill. So it'd be good if I've got night vision. And then, oh, the other thing that happened to me this week. Well, could I get a food order from Sainsbury's for love, no money? No, of course I couldn't. But what I could get was wine. There's this application you can get on your phone. Wine app, it's called. You just order wine. So I ordered two boxes of wine at 10 past 12, right? Next thing I know, quarter to one, knock on the door, wine arrives. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Well, I ran downstairs, I opened the door, the port, I put two boxes of wine on the porch and he couldn't get away from me fast enough. I felt sorry for him, the poor lad. Then I realised I forgot to put a top on. But uh, I haven't worn a bra for a week. Let your bosoms run free, that's what I say, girls. Not your bottoms. I think it's still quite important if we all wear underpants. But your bosoms, let them out. Anyway, he ran off, he did. He didn't even want me to sign. Um, and what I did is I left the cardboard boxes in the porch for 24 hours because um, I read in an article that the coronavirus can survive on cardboard for 12 hours. So I thought I'd be on the safe side, I'd leave it there for 24. And luckily, I already had two bottles of wine in the house, so I knew I'd be able to get through a whole day. I'm only joking. I didn't need two bottles of wine to get through a whole day. I had three. Anyway, I put them away in my cupboard and uh, I think I could survive for quite a long time now actually with my carrots and my wine and my bike. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gin and tonic, I'm going to go in the living room and I'm going to do some exercises. I'll see you later.